Aw oh, yeah, I just made my first epic dance track. Time to make a Facebook fan page, a Twitter page, a SoundCloud page, a YouTube page, a special email account, a reverb nation. No, seriously, does anyone use this site? Hire a manager, book gigs at an EDM open mic and or talent shows to showcase my dank beats. Wait a second, something sounds off. Why does this kick and snare sound off? I never noticed it before but they don't sound right together. It sounds like they're not even in the same key. How is this possible? Can percussion instruments even have a key? Let me see if I could change the pitch and the piano roll. No, it sounds worse. Now I'll never be the next white guy wearing a black v-neck fiddling knobs while fisting the sky gods in front of thousands of people jumping. No! Don't fret, because in this video tutorial, I will show you how to key all your samples and tracks using freeware. First, go in the all-seeing, all-knowing eye, known as Google, and type in big anime titties, just kidding. You type in music key finder. There are so many types of different software out there for detecting and tuning sound samples, most of which cost money. But I got some good news for you. You get it? Good news? Well, anyways, the good news is that there's some open source freeware out there. I've been using this one for the past few years. It's called Keyfinder by Ibrahim Shas. Ibrahim is a cool name. It just rolls off the tongue. I wonder what kind of nickname you'd grow up with. Maybe Eb or Hebe or maybe even just simply Bra. Here's a fun and exciting fact. Ibrahim started an Indiegogo campaign to get even more accurate readouts, however he failed to reach his goal. So the software's algorithm according to this DJ Tech Tools article are about 77% accurate. It could have been even more accurate if we gave this baritone voiced man our collective money. Hi there, I'm Ibrahim. So now that we have the software downloaded, unzip the files and access the EXE file or the damage file or whatever operating system you have. It should look like this. Wow, cool, crazy, different. Pass the dicks. Now the first thing we are gonna wanna do is go to preferences. In preferences, we're gonna pay close attention to these little boxes next to these letters. Remember, if it says A, that means it's A major. If there's a little M next to the letter, that simply means the key is minor and probably sounds all angsty and sad and probably still listens to death grips. These little empty boxes look too empty. Let's fill them up with something. This is where the handy Camelot Harmonic Wheel comes in handy. For those of you who don't know what the Camelot Harmonic Wheel is, it was probably invented by wizards in an ancient kingdom. One wizard was like, hey, you know numbers? And then the other wizard was like, yeah, I know numbers. And then the other one was like, what if music is just numbers? And then that's how the Circle of Fifths was invented. The end. Well anyways, this handy chart shows relative keys such as C major and A minor mixing perfectly together and neighbor keys that can be easily mixed into. Now that we set the harmonic tagging thingies, we gotta set the taggings. On what to write, select both, cause you double your chances if you know what I mean, wink wink nudge nudge. Warning, on the file name you have the option to append or prepend. App simply means after, and pre means you should've wore a condom dad. Changing the file name of any sound file will cause any pre-existing FL Studio samples to be misplaced. Remember, FL Studio is just a program, it's a machine, it's not like some sentient animal sidekick we use for comedic relief. Cool, I finally keyed every single sample I own. What? Wait, what? No. Wait, what? What? No. If you are a dumb anus like myself, an easy fix is to go into the sample, right click the name on the file missing, copy the name, press Ctrl F in the file finder, and paste the name on the sample and you'll usually find the closest matching name. So yeah, I like prepending the file name because it makes it easier to find the key and finding the samples. With the combination of the Camelot Harmonic Chart and the Key Finder Freeware by Ibrahim, you can turn any playlist or sample into an instant dance party DJ continuous harmonic DJ playlist for free. That's right, you don't even need to hire Deadmau5 or some other generally well-known electronic producer disc jockey to play your ritualistic seasonal gatherings because you can do it all by yourself with technology. Robots are going to replace us one day. Not only can you make really sick sounding DJ sets and playlists, you can also mix and mash up various tracks and random sounds so that they'll sound kind of good together. That's how I made all my mashups in the past, like that one about coconuts and that Lordy Macklemore one. You should check those out if you have time, I guess. Thank you for watching my video all the way through. The links are in the description below, so check those out if you want to do this. And now, I don't know what to do next, so here's a video of my dog.
people. Hello. Hello, the puppy. Yes, yes, you're a puppy. You are a puppy. I am a human. I am touching your tummy. Cause you like tummy touches. You are a puppy. Yes, you are. You are a puppy, puppy. Yes, you are. You are a puppy. A puppy.